so my name is Lorraine Thompson and I'm the principal here at Greenwood House Assessment Centre in East Belfast. So we're a special needs school for children aged three to six years and currently we have 60 children on our roll. So we cater for this year children in primary one and primary two and other years we've had nursery provision and hope to have that reinstated next year. So this is a very special uh, year for Greenwood House. We are getting to celebrate our 60th anniversary in March. And we kicked off the celebrations on Saturday evening past with a gala dinner at the Clandy Boy Lodge. And Flash Harry uh, very kindly did that as a tribute for us for the school. So we were lucky to celebrate with past staff, current staff, parents and boards of governors. And it was a great evening to have everyone together and to really have great fun. When I first arrived, um, we didn't have the south door area. It was just um, grass, really, and that's all been developed over the years. And um, back in the day, it was in the 1800s, we discovered it was a dentist's house. And then the school was used for Greenwood Primary um, just before we got it. And then we got it in 1964 as a diagnostic unit and then at that time I believe that some of the rooms were used for residential but that was before my time and um, and then it went on to become Greenwood House Assessment Centre. Well it's great to be part of the history of the school and to have, I know I get a bit of abuse sometimes about um, how old I am and being here still and that the building uh, or the school is actually younger than me but um, that's all part of it and it's the camaraderie and uh, the crack is good and, um, and of course the children play such an amazing part of it. I just don't know, once you get into working with special needs children, there's no going back. That's where your, your heart lies and that's where it's, it's been now for the last 36 years. Oh, it's such an amazing school. We really enjoyed Alexander being here. Um, it's such a nurturing school. He came here and he had so many needs that we couldn't deal with, and the school has really transformed into a character that's unique on his own, and obviously it has his own challenges as well, and they've helped him so much in terms of his speech, in terms of his physical capabilities. He's just been a transformed wee boy, so he has, from the time he came here in nursery right through now to P2. Unfortunately, he has to leave now, that's the problem. If you're a first time parent of a special needs child, you don't know what's out there. It's very sort of under the radar. It's like this is the, the biggest, the, the best kept secret in, in certainly in this area. I didn't even know it was here. And it was through our speech therapist that we had been seeing privately. And she said, oh, have you heard of a school called Greenwood? I said, no, I don't. And she says, look it up. Look it up. Give them a call. This is when he was only maybe two and a half, three years old. She said, just give them a call and see, you know, get a good feel for the place. And from the first phone call where I spoke to Mrs. Thompson, I was just like, God, I would love for him to go there. That just sounded amazing. And it just felt like a really good fit for him. Um, she was able to sort of say, well, look, there's, there's few pupils in our nursery school year at the minute who have their letters and have their numbers. And I think Adam would be a really good fit. He'd have a nice little peer group. And from day one, he has run in through the gates with a smile. He can't wait to get in. I'm sure it will be here for more than another 60 years to come because anybody that has come through the gates has nothing but praise. And it doesn't surprise me to say that it, it's the faces that come out towards the kids in the morning. Everybody's happy to be here. All the staff, they're so welcoming. And the kids just feel that. Like they're, they just can't wait to get in. Whether they've come in a taxi, a bus, whether they're walked in with their parents, they just can't wait to grab a hand and go their way. And they're singing and dancing and hopping and skipping and they're just so content to be here. And just getting the odd little photograph or the odd little thing on the, on the app from the school as well, you just see what they're doing and they're all just so engaged and so stimulated just from being here. And it's just making such a difference in all their wee lives. Well, yeah, absolutely delighted in terms of, you know, how far the school has come. And again, just to reflect on the relationships that we've maintained in school, you know, before I was here and in the past 10 years as well. And that's something that's been really special to Greenwood House throughout because the children only attend for two to three years. But we're very fortunate to have those links with parents and staff throughout that time. So again, that's something that I think is very special and very unique to Greenwood House.